Well, it seems as though we just keep getting more and more confirmation on how bad Disney Plus is actually doing as they are now purging all their terrible shows. I wonder why. Could it be that these are shows that are not bringing any new subscribers to the platform or giving anyone a reason to stay on the platform? That seems to be the one common thing between a lot of these shows that are now being just completely removed from Disney Plus as a whole as Disney removes dozens of series uh, from Disney Plus and Hulu, including Big Shot Willow. That's really not a surprise. I reviewed the entire series, and it was absolutely terrible. It's a, e Even when it was airing, I believe, it was at least performing under maybe 200,000 people. That's about how many people were watching it. So that's not surprising. We also have Why the Last Man a show in which all the men cease to exist, so it's just women all left. You know, we we, we know what way that's gonna gonna go in current era. Uh, and Dollface. So these are these are all the all the shows and Disney Plus movies that are now just getting you know, as I say, completely completely just cut out of the tour. Uh, you've got Big Shot, Turner and Hooch, uh, so on and so forth. You've got Willow, the making of Willow. You've got a uh, cheaper by the dozen remake, uh, Star Girl, uh, and a few other ones, including I, I believe it's Marvel's Empower. Why are they doing this? Mainly, it's because they save money in the likes of uh, they won't be obligated to pay ongoing residual payments and licensing licensing fees. So it seems like the plan will probably be it will all these shows will get put on something like Roku and all these sort of you know, third-party streaming things. That seems to be what they're going to do, so then they actually earn money off of it, you know, in terms of ad revenue. So that seems to be what is probably going to happen. Uh, you know, it's, it, again, it's just, you know, every week we've got something new where Disney are having to do certain things in order to save money, and a lot of it just comes down to the quality of these things are so subpar that you know again it's it doesn't give any re any anyone a reason to come onto the platform uh to subscribe to the platform there is there is no reason there for it so that's why they are now having to completely trim the fat to save themselves a bit of money maybe they will put it on something like Roku and that will bring in ad revenue so that's what they're having to do and as i've pointed out a lot of these shows at least some of them, I can't speak to all of them because, you know, the majority of this shit I have never watched. Whereas, you know, you have Willow, Why the Last Man. Oh, these are shows that nobody is watching that are complete failures. And we now just have more confirmation that they're failures. And speaking to Willow in particular, uh, the writer has called Disney Plus's decision to ditch show from st streaming service absolutely cruel. I, I mean, you didn't really put any effort into it, did you? Uh, and, and, you know, if, if they're worried about these shows disappearing and lost in the void, you go watch my reviews if you want. The show will live on there, where I do nothing but bash it. Uh, but during Disney Plus's recent upfront presentation, it was confirmed that the streamer is in the process of reviewing the content on our DTC services to align with the strategic changes in our approach to content curation. Uh, you might need to have a business degree handy to understand that. Not, you know, not necessarily. Uh, but the gist is that the company has decided to rem remove content uh, from Disney Plus starting May 26th in order to save money. You know, again, you, well, you're telling me that the quality was so shit. <laughs> they, they've got to get rid of it. Uh, the company will take a write down in the June quarter of $1.5 billion to $1.8 billion by removing content from its streaming platforms. Uh, from there, Disney can exclude the value of this content from its balance sheet, preventing it from being reported as an expense in subsequent reporting periods. Uh, presumably, Disney will consider offloading some of these movies and TV shows to other streamers, but for now they're gone. So that's, you know, essentially what I'm saying is, you know, they'll, they'll actually earn money off it, I guess, if people watch it on Roku or something like that. Uh, the biggest surprise is Willow. I, I don't see how that's a surprise. You know, it's, that seems to be the a, a set, basically the 
focus, you know, ac across the internet is Willow. Where, oh, surprising. The fans, the, there's no fans of Willow, but that's, that's like, that's like the only one that I guess has some sort of notability, whereas the rest, you know, what we've seen from the list, uh, never heard of them. Uh, a small screen follow-up to the cult classic movie, which was cancelled after one season. Why? Because it was fucking shit. Uh, the door was said to be open to more episodes uh, being released down the line. Now, that was actually a lie from, uh, I guess it's this writer, where it came out, Willow's cancelled after one season, and they said, uh, no, we're just going to uh, do other projects and stuff. It's definitely coming back for a second season. It's like, no, it isn't. Uh, though that's now been slammed shut. As you can see below, one of the show's writers, John Bickerstaff, is very upset with the news. I, I don't know, maybe you should have tried harder. That's, that's you know, I, I just can't really have a lot of sympathy for especially shit writers. You know, it's like, well, you didn't, you didn't do a good job. You didn't give anyone a reason to watch it or continue to watch it. It wasn't a show that brought anyone to the platform. So, you know, I just, I can't really find any sympathy for you. You know, again, you know, I, I, I can safely tell this writer, you can go and watch my reviews if you want. Again, it will live on. Uh, so too is Why the Last Man showrunner, as that short-lived Hulu series is also set to be taken down later this month. Uh, so John Biggerstaff says, they gave us six months, uh, not even. This business has become absolutely cruel. So, right, so you're, you're, well, it's not really cruel if, you know, Disney are trying to make business decisions and try to save money. Not necessarily cruel, is it? You know, again, it's just, it's business things that have to happen. And again, you should have tried harder if you cared about it that much. But from what I've seen of the show, it doesn't quite seem like that, that you cared or had any passion. You know, maybe you did, maybe you were just incompetent. And that's, that's probably worse than, than just not caring about it. Uh, you also have Eliza Clark, which, which was the showrunner for Why the Last Man, where all the men die and women run things. And it was kind of what we expected it to, expected it to be in 2022, which I believe is when it came out. Uh, but she says, well, you work on something for years, pour your heart and soul into it, as do hundreds of other artists. Yeah, not every time. Uh, do the audience show up for it? Uh, you make it during a global pandemic far from home. Uh, then it is cancelled before it even has a chance to finish airing. Uh, then it is disappeared. Yeah, that's how things work. You know, if your show is bad and it's not getting an audience, generally they cancel it because I believe Why the Last Man was cancelled after seven episodes, didn't even finish an entire season because no one was watching it. You know, I you know I don't really know what to tell you. That's what happens when a show doesn't perform. It just gets gets axed. So you know, this show now being disappeared from Disney Plus is it really a loss to the world? Not really. So that's kind of what you get. And again, we went over a lot of these things. They just seem to share the same common trait, and you can see why they would get cancelled. It's very. It shows that are very obviously not being watched by anyone. So it's, it's like it's just kind of sitting on Disney+, Plus, not bringing new subscribers in, not being watched by anyone. So it's like, what is the point in having it on there when, you know, you're, you're, doing, you're having to pay for licensing, you're having to pay for residuals, whereas what you could do, put it on a, on a you know, lower down the totem pole platform, and get ad revenue from that, you you know, actually earn something from it, rather than it just being a total loss. So that's, so that's probably why they are doing it. Uh, but again, it just, it just confirms what we've been saying for years is how, is how bad it's going at the likes of Disney and Disney Plus. And it's not going too well if you're having to purge almost a hundred shows and movies. Because you because it's just a loss to the platform, uh, but it's you know it's not surprising they made these mistakes by giving the okay to these terrible shows, and, and yet yeah, it's done nothing but damage them, and that's you, you know so that's really what a lot of it comes down to is the damage it does to the Disney brand, and also the fact that no one's fucking watching it. 
So not surprising in the slightest, but it's quite funny. Again, I can't really have a lot of sympathy for some of these writers because it's like, well, you, you produce shit, though. Do you really want that to remain on Disney Plus so people see it? Because I certainly wouldn't.